hi guys welcome to another tutorial and this is agnes so today i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful red dress it is easy to work up i used chunky yarn for this red one added straps so that you could be able to wear a bra underneath and yeah it is very easy to work up i've also made it in in strapless this strapless i used a size 4 yarn and a 2.5 millimeter hook so you can choose to use this and just add a drawstring to uh, tighten it up up there so the difference between the two is that that this red one i used chunky yarn chunky yarn is easy to work up but it is a bit tight so it will be tight and uh, the difference in the texture is because this i use the size uh, five millimeter hook while the the strapless one i use the 2.5 millimeter hook with a size four yarn so that's why it's different the strapless one is more stretchy gives you more room because the the, the stitch is a bit smaller yeah so um, that's it guys i hope you like it uh you can choose whichever you want to to go with the pattern is still the same it's just the difference of the yarn weight and the hook size okay so yeah uh, that's it thank you so much for subscribing for those who have subscri subscribed if you haven't i request that you do if you like the video give it a thumbs up and let's get into it so for this video i'll use a tape measure all you need is your hips measurements take your hips measurements that will be important that's where we base the the, the pattern on mine is 33 inches of hip measurements okay so take your hip measurements you'll need a scissor to cut off your ends you'll need a five millimeter hook if you're using a smaller yarn you will need a 2.5 millimeter hook for this project i'll use this chunky yarn it is five uh, size five and it has 120 yards i use three rolls of this the recommended hook is is uh, definitely different but i will be using a five millimeter hook So yeah, it is a bit thicker. So if you want um, a more defined look like the one in the strapless one, please use a size 4 yarn or any medium weight yarn. So for this tutorial, we are going to work from top to bottom. So we work from top to bottom and then put the straps at uh, the end. So to start, make a foundation chain. So make a slip knot and we are going to make chains this chain is going to be as long as your hips measurements that is when the chain is stretched so you have to stretch the chain to 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 reach your hips measurements that's how it looks like chain enough to get to your hips measurements when it is stretched i finished mine i did uh, 70 chains 70 chains and when i stretch it this is an equivalent of my hips measurements which is 33 inches that is when it is stretched as you can see when it is not stretched at all it is about uh, 26 inches long 26 27 inches long so you have to stretch it so that it gets to your hips measurements so we are going to to join these together just to create the the round area so straighten it up And join into the first chain using a slip stitch. Like that. So we are going to start on row one. Make sure it is straightened up well. We're going to start on row one. So chain three. And this row is going to be a row of double crochets. So in that very first chain, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through all two. 
So go into the second chain and make a double crochet. So for every chain in this first row, you are going to use double crochet. So insert a double crochet in every chain and I will meet you once you are done with row one. Coming to the end of row one, and this is my last stitch. So yarn over and insert your last stitch, which is a double crochet. And we are going to join this on top of the chain three using a slip stitch. So slip stitch on top of the chain three just to join this row together. And we are now going to row two. We are going to be working with front post and back post for that uh, top design. So go under your first double crochet, go under it like that and make a front post. And for the back post, you will go behind, from behind. So instead of going in the front like that, you'll go from behind and go over it over that second double crochet from the behind and make a back post and the next will be a front post so go under it from the front like that and complete your double crochet to make a front post so for the next will be a back post go from the behind over it and complete your double crochet to make a back post. So you are going to be alternating between front post and back post for this row. So this is how it looks like. Do that and I will meet you once you are done. So for every, uh, stitch make a front post and back post alternating like that and i'll meet you once you're done with this row so we're coming to the end of row two and you are going to join that using a slip stitch in that on top of the chain three. This is how it looks. So chain three and work on row three. So where there is a front post, you will put a front post. Just go under the previous front post and make another front post. And where we had a back post, you will go ahead and do a back post. So go in from the back and make a back post so the next was a front post you go ahead and make a front post and a back post is next so you will do that till you get to the end of row three everywhere where you have a front post make a front post where you had a back post make a back post and i'll see you once you're done with this row So join this uh, together with a slip stitch and we are now done with that design that we have at the top of the bust area. If you're using small lion, I advise that you make another row to make them four. But if you're using chunky, then three is enough or you can do as you wish really. So we are going to now work on the body part. So chain two and we're going to use half double crochets for this. So in that very first stitch, okay. In that very first stitch you are going to go in and make a half double crochet go into the next stitch and make a half double crochet half double crochet is your yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through and then pull through all the three loops on your hook 
so for the first design it was uh, front post and back post and now we are working using half double crochets so insert a half double crochet in every stitch and i will meet you once you're done with this row and i'm coming to the end of this row so that is my last stitch sorry second last stitch and this will be my last stitch okay so we are going to join this using a slip stitch do not put a stitch in there where we have the chain two please otherwise he'll be increasing okay so join this using a slip stitch like that yeah and now we are going to the row two of half double crochets we are going to turn our work so we are going to work backwards in rows once you get to the end of the row you chain two and work backwards so yarn over in that very first stitch right there that is on top of that very first half double crochet insert a half double crochet So you are going to work with half double crochets in every stitch insert a half double crochet in every stitch for this row two of half double crochets so do that and i will see you once you get into the end of this row two of half double crochets So I'm coming to the end of row two. This is my last stitch. Okay, and we are going to join these two with a slip stitch on top of that chain two. Like that, and then we go to row three. So chain two, turn your work. Always remember to turn your work. Yarn over, and in that very first stitch, you are going to start a half double crochet. okay so going to the next stitch insert another half double crochet and we are going to work with half double crochets for the rest of this uh, pattern you are going to repeat row two of half double crochets until you get your desired length so depends on if you want to make the dress longer or shorter i wanted mine short so my dress is 21 inches long but you can make it longer as you wish you can, if you're making a skirt maybe you want it midi skirt or maybe a mini skirt that is up to you so work until you get your desired length and i will see you once you are done with your dress or skirt so that we can put the straps if you're making a dress we'll put the straps okay so i'm done i have this is what i have this is where my seam is and I want it on the side so if I take measurements of my dress it is 21 inches long and uh, the width is um, the width is about 13.5 so that is um, the width so in you are going to do the straps now if you wanted a skirt just go ahead and cut your yarn and chain enough chains to go through this area around here so that you can be able to draw a string so put in a drawstring so we're now going to make the sleeves also if you're making the strapless dress just uh, make a chain put a drawstring in there and you will be done so this next part is for those who want the straps so you are going to count the total number of front posts right from here where the seam is mine was a total number of 34 pro for front posts so when i divide by two that is 17 so front is 17 back is 17 back posts and i'm going to work in the uh, fifth and sixth uh, front post counting right from the seam so the seam is going to be on the side so from each side we will work from the four fifth and sixth front posts from every side so i already did one on my right side now on my left side is what i'll show you how to do 
okay so you are going to do fifth and sixth front post that's where we'll put our strap the same will be at the back because you have the same number of, of uh, front posts at the front and the back so you will insert your hook in, uh, reattach your yarn that is in the sixth here then chain two because we are going to be working with single uh, double half double crochets sorry insert a half double crochet in that very first one insert a half double crochet in the second one and a half double crochet on top of that last on fifth uh, front post so we have three stitches so chain two turn your work and very very first stitch insert a half double crochet go into the next stitch insert a half double crochet and insert your last and third double crochet on top of that chain two so chain two turn your work and insert a half double crochet in that very first chain stitch and in the next stitch and in the last stitch so it is three stitches on every row you are going to do this until you have enough rows to cover over your shoulder and to the other and to the back it stretches i'll come and tell you how many rows i did and how many inches so i'm done i did a total number of 18 rows of half double crochet for this strap and this is an equivalent of nine inches so they're nine inches long it stretches so i'm going to join it on the other side the back side so i'm going to count five uh, front posts and then from this side and then join it just on top of the fifth and the sixth just to match the other side so it is on top of the fifth and the sixth right from when you count from the sideways so you are going to join this using the inside so that the seam is uh, in the inside and not the outside so insert your hook that's on top of the fifth uh, front post and you are going to slip stitch in every stitch until you get to the sixth uh, front post so join using a slip stitch tighten that off and then this is how it looks from the inside and that's the outside so cut off your yarn you are going to go ahead and do the other uh, strap too it's identical just count five uh, front posts from right from the side of your seam and then clean up your dress that is it uh, uh, sewing all the ends and i will see you once you are done so yeah this is it guys this is how the dress turn, uh, turned out and i hope yours is as pretty as this so thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment or oh, and please share to your whatsapp groups your facebook groups i really appreciate that so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye